Hey guys, today we're back taking a look at a lot of new PC mods. All of the mods are public and the links can be found up on my website linked down below. Up first, we're going to be taking a look here at the all new Can-Am Renegade Quad in the store can be found here under the cars category. It has a starting price of $12,000, it has 250 horsepower and it's color changeable. There is a limited amount of colors, but uh, they all do look nice here. Really do like the metallic uh, kind of satin finish here on it. But let's take a quick look. You could get a snorkels for the exhaust. You could get upgraded from bumper here. You could get a rack on the back with a cooler, uh, which is pretty neat here and a few different wheel options as well here take a look at a few of those and it is color changeable taking a closer walk around you guys can see this is pretty detailed here really do like it it's nice to see a can-am quad we don't have too many of these and this thing look does look pretty sweet here really nice engine sounds and it actually does have a few straps back there which is pretty neat if you do want to throw a few pieces with but look at this thing guys pretty neat uh, top speed of 99 miles per hour full joysticks work everything like that it's overall pretty neat mod up next we're going to be taking a look here at a modified audi r8 this is a v10 here in the store it can be found under the sheriff robert category two hundred twenty two thousand dollars as we take a close look, there's quite a few options, so we'll go through it really quickly here. You once again have the plates, you can put hitch on the back, uh, which is pretty funny there. Now you could get carbon fiber hood and back, or you could get color match here, which is pretty neat here. We'll switch the color really quickly. Uh, you could get a few different options on the inside as we keep going down. You could get it with and without the big spoiler on the back, and uh, there are several wheel options here. They are color changeable, which is pretty neat. As we take a close look, you guys can see this is pretty sweet here on it. It does have a pretty neat wide body all the way around. And that huge wing definitely stands out. Just look at that thing. It is massive. But let's hop on the inside. A top speed is 77 miles per hour here on it, which is pretty neat. Now, there is a few options. Uh, you guys can see the windows go down there. That is a pretty neat here. Let's see. Look at that. You could actually raise and lower uh, the suspension to the different heights there. Now, that is a pretty neat thing. Let's see. Really quick. Quickly. And you could actually change the camber there on the back. Now that is also a cool feature that is so cool. And it looks like the front changes, but not as much. Now on the first person view, it is pretty detailed. Wow, look at that. Just like you're sitting in a real life Audi R8. That is awesome. Up next, we're going to be taking a look here at an old Ford pickup truck, you guys, since it looks like it's an F800 here. It is color change. Well, quite a few options in the store. Upon closer look, you guys, since you really do like it, it is definitely kind of an old classic here. I like the wood sides on it, kind of the old rustic farm truck feel here. We do have the older tires uh, with the uh, kind of white walls on the side there. But once we hop here on the inside, look at that. The door open and closes when you hop on, and that is pretty neat here. We do have a working tailgate there, which is awesome. Awesome. We do have straps in the bed. Overall, I, I, I mean, this is a pretty sweet vehicle. Very detailed. And look at that, guys. Wow, that is a pretty cool engine. Looks like there's a little bit of vibration to it, uh, which is pretty neat here. Now, on the first person view, working steering wheel and gauges. Wow, this thing is pretty cool here. Pedals work. I mean, this is an old classic. Definitely want to see this maybe at an old classic truck show or uh, on display somewhere. It looks so good. Here we have a Nissan Titan XD. We have the crew cab. Probably, I would say, six and a half foot bed with a Cummins diesel engine. It is color changeable. A few different options in the store. Now, with a few features changed, you could definitely turn this into an American truck here. I'm so excited uh, to see more and more Nissan and Toyotas come into farms. But once we hop here on the inside, top speed of 108 miles per hour here. No working tailgates. Uh, the interior is actually color changeable. But wow, you guys can see this is detailed. Look at this. This looks unbelievable. Up next, we're going to be taking a look here at a pretty big Freightliner semi truck. You guys can see it's twin steered in the store. It's color changeable. The fenders are color changeable along with a few different features. But I will say, guys, this is one pretty sweet truck. Really, really do like the look of it here. And that twin steer is a, a, a pretty neat feature here. Really quickly, we'll look at all the lights here. It looks like it does have some working lights on the front end, which is pretty neat. But on the first person view, and the camera does flip upside down. Sometimes that happens. Uh, but it does have some detail on the inside. Overall, guys, this thing looks awesome. I can't wait uh, to use this in some upcoming videos. 
Up next, we're going to be taking a look here at 3 Excavators. Up first, uh, which is a Kubota. Very small, compact one. Really do like the model. It comes with three attachments. We have a regular bucket, we have a grapple, and we have a sledgehammer attachment, which is pretty neat here. But once we hop here on the inside, a uh, top speed at 3 miles per hour here. Now, the buckets do come with this one, which is a pretty neat. And let's take a quick look here at it. Really do like the detail. A lot of detail all the way through. We, uh, we have a working blade down there, which works here. And we also can open and close the door guys that's so cool if you want to have it open or uh, if you want to have it closed for the AC but the joysticks everything works here on the inside which is pretty neat and this thing just seems to be working really well up next, we have a mid-size uh, Case uh, 245D SR. I will say, guys, probably one of my new favorite excavators. I really do like the size of it here. Let's take a quick look here at all these are very similar mods, uh, just different models here. But let's see, the blade works here on it, which is pretty neat. Probably want to add a collision there, but you guys didn't see this does rotate around. We also do have a working door here on it, which is a pretty neat feature, but wow, you guys can see that it looks pretty cool, and it does look like we do also have an attacher on it, which uh, definitely uh, uh, looks uh, good and probably could come in pretty handy. Here we have a JCB Excavator, very similar to the other one. This is a JCB 220XL. Uh, this thing looks pretty sweet here. Last up, for equipment, we have this pretty unique brand. You guys can see it's the Th uh, Lizard Thunder. Pretty cool, very unique design on it. Uh, that front end looks unbelievable. Last up, guys, we're going to be taking a look at a modern house here. It's a place we'll really do like the detail all the way around. Now, you cannot go on the inside. Uh, it's only really used here, and you could actually use it to sleep uh, in-game here, which is pretty neat. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's mod review. We did look at some pretty sweet mods, but thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.